It's me, Mario. No! Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Gapster, here on Gapster's Life, and I'm currently recording this story at 1.30 in the morning in the garage, because, well, can't really do shit late at night, and I want to be able to um, talk loud. So, yeah. So, today I have a karma-related story for you today. This will be a part two story. Like, this is going to be part one, which is this one, and part two, the next one. It's pretty much how GameStop finessed me. If you don't know what finesse means, it means stealing, pretty much. So, a quick backstory. It was around 4th grade, 5th, or 6th grade, one of those 3 grades. Oh god, those years. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so around then, I got Super Mario Galaxy 2, thinking it was the first one. Because I loved Yoshi, and he was on the cover. And it took me a few years to realize it was a sequel. And then one day I decided to get the prequel Super Mario Galaxy 1. I guess not playing the first game leads to some problems. So I wanted Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii. So I went to the store with my dad to get it. And when I looked around I was able to find the box for it. So I brought it up to the front desk and on the way I actually knocked over some action figures and games off the shelf. And that action alone pissed off the guy behind the desk which we'll call him Mr. Burt. So Mr. Burt said hey watch where you're going kid. And my dad defended me saying, oh, it was just an accident, sir, we're sorry. And then me and my dad picked up all the shit off the floor. And then Mr. Burt had a small talk with us saying, so, you interested in that Mario game, huh, kid? And I said, yeah, I'm going to buy it. And my dad said, huh, really? With what money? I said, uh, and then he said, I'm just kidding, I'll buy it for you. My dad loves to joke around, and it gets up to a point where it's annoying. But I'll explain more of that in a future video when it's safe but anyway we finished cleaning up the mess and my dad went up to mr bird and mocked the game but first mr bird reached down grabbed the disc and put it in a box so in case you don't know how gamestop works the video game boxes here in the cells don't actually contain the games what you have to do is you have to grab the box bring it out to the front desk and then they give you the game i guess it's to prevent shoplifters Pretty smart, not gonna lie. So anyway, my dad paid for the game, and we went to, and we went home. And later, I opened the box and found this weird disc that said Super Mario Galaxy on it, which here I'll put it on screen right now. It didn't seem like a real game. I was young and didn't know any better, so I put it into the Wii. Nothing happened, and I tried again. Nothing happened. I was getting worried at this point, so I tried again. Nothing happened, and then I just gave up on it and played part two again. So a few days later, my dad asked me, how was the game? I told him, uh, it didn't work. And he asked to see the disc. And when he saw it, he flipped the fuck out. He was like screaming, saying, God damn it, fucking GameStop and all that shit. And then he told me to get in the car and bring the game along. I didn't understand what was going on, so I just followed his order. While in the car, I looked at the disc. And I thought about my other Wii games. I was like, that didn't look like it. It doesn't look like a real game. And then I kept quiet. I just I was pretty much quiet the whole time, but I was like steaming on the inside because I realized what the fuck the guy just did. So in a few minutes, we were at GameStop, and my dad calmly asked the guy at the front desk, which was a different employee, not Bert Bert. I can imagine him going bonkers if it was Bert. But anyway, so the manager coincidentally comes out from the back door, and I said, and asked what's up. And my dad showed him the disc and complained about their service. The man, the, uh, Gave the disc wasn't there today, so the manager apologized to us and gave us the real game this time, and it was pretty much for free. And we went home with a free game. Well, I mean, gas money, but who gives a fuck at this point? So yeah, pretty much some asshole took a disc, wrote Super Mario Galaxy on it, and I pretty much got the free game in the end. Now a few years later, though, I encountered Mr. Burr at the same GameStop. And I got my revenge on that asshole. And the whole fucking GameStop company. There's more GameStop videos I'm going to be doing. Because honestly, fuck that company. Don't waste your money there. It's overpriced, terrible service, and possibly scammers. Just go spend your money somewhere else, okay? Or buy them digitally. That's how it is these days. So, that story though. How I got my revenge is going to be part two. 
But anyway, it's trivia time! So yeah, that's part one of how GameStop stole from me. Part two will be coming soon. Revenge. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment, be sure to subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeehaw!